This is a Shakti NYC meetup group. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Fintan Quill. Uh, you might remember me from other meetups, as Troy McClure would say. Uh, so I'm the director of engineering with Shakti, and we'll hopefully have a great night tonight. So we've got two other speakers. We've got Stephen After and Chris Pearson, and hopefully you'll have an enjoyable evening. First of all, we wanted to start off with, I think what's a, a very emotional thing for many people in this room is we all know Brian Conlon very well and he passed away last year, so he was a big inspiration to all of us, especially you know, us former KX folks. Um, we'd just like to expand, extend our sympathies to the whole KX family, and in particular, Brian's uh, wife and his kids, and everybody with KX, so we'd, we'll be at the bar later and we can raise a glass to Brian then, so we just wanted to extend our sympathies there. On to happier things, we'd like to thank 1010 Data, and we've got one of the founders, Joel Kaplan, here. So we're incredibly happy and thankful that we have this wonderful venue. So I'd like to give them a round of applause to get started. I'm thankful to all of their staff as well. Their staff has been a great help tonight. So yeah, and if you're posting on social media tonight, feel free to take photos of me. And if you want to <laughs> tag me, you can tag. Uh, please use the hashtag Shakti Meetup and you know, add us at, at ShaktiDB on Instagram and Twitter. So yeah, in terms of Q&A, we're going to try and wait until Q&A at the end of the talks, uh, just because we got quite a lot to actually get through, um, but we definitely want to have questions and answers. So just, we want to leave it till the end, because we've got a lot of material to get through. So in the words of Dr. Evil, zip it, as he says. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the Shakti team, we're all in attendance, so we're all wearing Shakti t-shirts, so we should be pretty easily recognizable. Um, I, I think most of us need no introduction, especially Arthur and Jeanette. And then, of course, uh, we've got myself and Abby and Paula, who is down at the front desk. So thanks to Abby and Paula for helping organize tonight as well. So give them a big round of applause. <laughs> yeah. So we've set up uh, three meetup groups. It's not a, quite a very filled map yet, but we're hopefully we'll get a lot more. Um, so we've set one up in London and in my hometown of Dublin, and we've got events going on there. So tell all of your friends that we've got fun times going ahead in the next month or so. And we do plan on having further meetups in New York as well um, that we're organizing currently at this moment in time. So uh, if you go to the shaktidb.meetup.com, you'll be able to find a list of all of the meetups there. First of all, we'd like you to all join our Google group. Um, we've got 420 members as of me last looking this afternoon. So we encourage you all to go there. We'll be adding a lot more material there and making more announcements. Um, so you can co go down the rabbit hole with us and join us in our crazy journey. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of material on there all, already. So it's, it's a good way to learn as we put together documentation. There's stuff that's not quite documented yet. So in terms of the download then, um, we've got a new alpha download available on uh, the Shakti website. So if you just go to shakti.com, uh, forward slash download and there is a, a legal agreement that you just have to do a click to so a little bit like this legal agreement here you know the privacy terms and agreements and then in terms of documentation then once you download and install Shakti if you just hit backslash and enter you can get the documentation so it's internally built in and um, so if you follow Kung Fu Hillbilly here he's giving you the sign to get the documentation in case you forget in terms of tables then that's probably one of the big syntactical changes inside of uh, Shakti um, it's hip to be square, in the words of uh, Huey Lewis in the news. So we now use square syntax, so on the top here you see uh, a regular table, and then on the bottom here you see a keyed table, so it's just slightly different shift in notation than maybe what you're used to from before. And you can still, still also flip a dictionary as well. Um, so for those of you that have seen American Psycho and Patrick Bateman. So in terms of time series then, that's you know, one of the big things we support and we've got a lot of extended support for time series and in particular time series data types. So we've got 16 different time series data types all together. So we've got the cardinal and the ordinal, so the ones at the time and then the, with the date time as well. And then you can do all sorts of arithmetic, you know, today plus two months, today minus two months, etc. So very, very powerful. And then you've got all the stuff like, you know, barring and binning of the data and, you know, chopping up the data whatever way. And, and as of join as well, which I'll get onto uh, in a little second. So uh, lots of extended time series data types. And then we've got other data types that we'll be adding in as well, such as a decimal data type and many different integer data types. And I think it's three floating point data types so far, yep. Um, so lots of stuff going on in there. So the, the type set is very different than maybe what you're used to from before. Um, so this is a little demo I prepared earlier. 
So this is when you install it. Here you go, you hit K. And you hit backslash, so here's your documentation. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. We'll go through that in a lot more depth in a further meetup. Um, so here's just a file here that I've created. It's just got quote data and trade data. And then you notice that we're also sorting the data. So you saw that extra line for sorting the quote data down here. We are working on documentation, I can assure you. <laughs> so this is saving the data down to disk. Let me, just, let me just go back a little bit here. So you'll notice here that we use the two colon then at the end to save the data down to disk. So we save it down as a dictionary. And it's all then in one file. So we do a du minus h. And we see that it's a 63 megabyte file in total. And now I just do k space db, which is the name of my file. And now I'm just showing you um, the HDB file. So I'm doing so. Everything is then saved in a .a uh, namespace by default. Back in 1963 with the workspace. Yep, similar idea. And now we can do counts, and now we can do a select. So we can do a, a weighted average, and you know all of those types of queries that you're well used to. And there we go. And then this is actually a pretty neat one. Can anybody guess what this line is doing? So basically, the as of join is now effectively just join. So it takes advantage of the structure of the underlying table. So once there's a step function in the leftmost column of the table on the right hand side, then it will actually do the as of join. And it's quite fast. So that's it in terms of the demo that I have. And then with that, I'll, I'll be speaking a little bit at the end as well. Um, and certainly, we plan on doing a further demo later down the line as well at another meetup, so we'll go way more in depth. Um, but with that, I'll hand over to Mr. Stephen After. Mm -hmm.